So feel free to come into your seat. You can lay down. You can start in child's pose. I'm thinking we're going to do a little bit of hip work this morning. So be adventurous and don't be afraid of going into places that maybe you're uncomfortable in. We can certainly breathe together, whether we're together or apart. Those poses won't last forever. So I'll give you lots of options this morning and I promise you nothing. <laughs> it's all up to you. So you give it what you need to give it or not. Come into your seat. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. Close your eyes. And whether you're seated or on your back, you can still let your shoulders soften. You can move your head maybe right to left. And just allow your body to settle in. Feel your hips connect or ground. And we'll just breathe together for the next two minutes. Keep anchoring back into your inhale. Stay right here with me. Take a long, slow exhale back out. Take one more full breath in and a slow breath out. And wherever you're starting this morning, please start to make your way out to your back. Take your time if you're seated, rolling down, stretching out your legs. If you're already laying flat on your back, bring some movement into your feet. Maybe turn your feet or your legs right in the hip socket, right to left. Take a full breath in, everybody stretch up tall, take your arms up overhead, full body stretch, reach for the back of the room, point the toes toward the front of the room, and then bring your arms back down by your side, bend your knees, we're going to start old school, right, and pigeon on your back. So bend the knees, take the left foot, cross it over the right ankle and pause. Take a full breath in as you use your left elbow to help push that left knee open and away from you. And then with your next inhale, lift up the right foot. You can interlace your hands behind the thigh, a little bit closer to the groin than behind the knee, so you can help to keep those shoulders released and down on the mat. Take another full breath in and a full breath out as you pause in this pigeon, giving yourself an opportunity to breathe into the hip. And even here, it's still early enough in the practice if you would like to set some type of an intention, you certainly can. just be with your breath. Keep breathing. Full breath in, full breath out. And then with your next breath, push both heels up high toward the ceiling. Keep your feet flexed. If your hamstrings are still a little tight this morning, bend a little bit behind the knees. Give yourself a break. Take another full breath in and a full breath out. And then nice and slow, bring the knees into your chest. Give yourself a great big hug. Wrap up. Roll right to left. 
and then replant the feet on the ground and we'll set up the pose on the other side. So take a full breath in, use that breath to take yourself from place to place. Lifting up the right foot, cross the ankle over the left knee, pausing, using the right elbow to help push that knee open. Find the stretches and the nuances you need to get deeply into this pose. And then with your next breath, inhale, lift the left foot up, interlace the fingers behind the thigh, again, closer to the groin than the knee, allowing your entire back to stay connected to the mat. If you feel like you've started to tip your chin up, bring your chin down. <clears throat> and I'll give you as many cues this morning as I can think of to help you find your place into the pose. Again, I promise nothing other than you'll breathe and you'll move and hopefully work up some internal heat. You take this practice where you need it to take you this morning. And certainly that means listening to your body, paying attention, if maybe you just need to sit or to drop in a child's pose. But it's kind of easy these days to get into this gray weather. We're stuck in the house, maybe not too many people to talk to. So I encourage you to really let that breath be your friend this morning. Make it audible. Listen to yourself. Have a conversation. And maybe it's okay to challenge yourself a little bit this morning. So you bring it the way you need to bring it. Take another full breath in and a full breath out. Push both heels back up high to the ceiling. Again, maybe your legs can straighten a little bit more. You could start to draw your toes closer to your face. That might feel a little bit stronger in your low back. So again, you breathe and move slow. And then draw the knees back in. Give yourself a nice big hug, rolling right to left. And keep rolling this time. So you're going to keep rolling until you turn yourself all the way around into tabletop. We're not going to stay long in tabletop. We're just going to pause there for a few breaths. So when you get there, set your fingers up nice and wide, stacking your wrists underneath your shoulders, knees underneath the hips, pull into the low belly, and really press the tops of the feet into the mat. And then we'll just open up a little bit the spine, release the belly and your breath, and then exhale, push down, round the spine. And keep following that breath, just moving, bringing some space into each vertebrae. Your body might really like that. Maybe taking some side curves so you can stretch out your intercostals. I mean, there's so much you can do with this pose, even though you're on your hands and knees. You could focus on just your midsection. You could focus on the tops of your feet and your shins, really ground down. Feel that energy come up your legs. Spread all 10 fingers nice and wide. And then pausing in your tabletop, just pull into the low belly, again, focused on your core. Tuck your toes, start to lift your hips. Let's work our way into downward facing dog. Just coming to say good morning. Hello, everybody. Welcome to 8 o'clock flow. Glad you're here. So join along, get your mat out. We're going to move and breathe this morning. Kick it up a little notch and get this Sunday morning kicked off right. Okay, so welcome everybody. Nice to see you all. And I'll go back to my mat now. Take a full breath in in your down dog and a full breath out. Maybe you've pedaled out your feet by now and bent both shins close to the mat so they're parallel. Then you can tip your hips up maybe a little bit higher. Take a beautiful full inhale. Open your mouth side out. Like I said, make some noise. Nobody's listening to you this morning. With a big breath in, sweep that right leg straight up behind you. Push through the heel. Just get long. Opening up, bend the knees, stack the hips. Try to keep your shoulders in line. And then place the foot back down. We'll build this slow. So take a nice deep breath in, coming up to your toes. Glide forward into plank. Stretching out here nice and long. Big breath in. Exhale the hips back up downward facing dog. Spread all 10 fingers nice and wide again. Stay pressed behind the index knuckle and the thumb pad. It'll draw your arms in, help take some of the pressure out of the sides of your wrists. And then with a full breath in, lift the left leg out straight behind you. Push through the heel. Bend at the knee, stacking the hips the other way. If you feel everything roll, maybe that needs to happen, but if you want to square your shoulders back off. And then breathe that foot back down, pedaling out your feet, coming back into your down dog. This is your home base. So don't be shy, you do what you need to do there. 
and then inhaling up to your toes, glide back into plank and pause. So I love plank first thing in the morning. It's like, okay, this is it, do or die. You pause with your shoulders over your wrists, you keep your hips lifted in line with your shoulders, and all of a sudden it's like, yep, okay, I'm ready, here we go. Take a nice deep breath in and a deep breath out. Shift the hips back up, downward facing dog. And let's come right back into that. Inhale back up to the toes, glide forward into plank. Pause here and breathe. Again, lifting up to the low belly. Thighs are lifted. We're gonna bend our elbows now. So if you wanna go from here, that's great. Otherwise, you can take your knees down, keep drawing your heart forward, lowering to the mat. <clears throat> Untuck your toes when you get there and draw your shoulders back for a small cobra. Nothing big. Keep your head in line with your spine. Exhale, lower. We're gonna take three more of these, moving with your own breath. Keep pushing down to the tops of your feet. Keep your arms tucked by your side. And you're using those upper back muscle muscles to just open up and breathe. And then after your fourth one, you're gonna tuck your toes and whether you push back through your knees or full plank, lift up strong, breathe your hips high, go right back into downward facing dog. I really feel like you can hug all the muscles onto the bone and notice that, notice that effect here more than any other pose. There's just something about it. Inhaling, come on back up to your toes, come back into plank. Feel everything hug into your center line, right into the middle of your body. You take a full breath in and a full breath out. Lift the right toes, hover that leg. You're pushing out through the heel, the foot is flexed. And then with your breath, bring the knee forward outside the right elbow. Stay strong through the middle body, and then exhale, push the foot back, lift the hips with it, come into three-legged down dog. Press the arm bones back, take a full breath in, glide forward into plank, bring the knee with you across your body outside the left elbow. Keep lifting through the hips and the low belly. Exhale, push the foot back with the hips, three-legged down dog. Come forward again, bringing the foot with you, plant it right by your thumb, pausing in your low lunge. Keep your feet in two separate lanes here. You can stay high on those left toes or you can take the knee down, but keep pressing that left thigh to the back of the room. With your next inhale, rise strong for crescent. Keep that right knee stacked over the ankle. And if your shoulders are talking to you this morning, certainly bring them up to your heart space. Drop the elbows, lifting the heart more. We're stretching out those hip flexors. Take a nice deep breath in and a deep breath out. Stay high on the left toes. One more breath in, one more breath out. When you bring your hands down on your next breath, bring them on the inside of your foot, both hands on the inside, and then walk the right foot over to the edge of your mat. You can stay up on the left toes, but there's nothing wrong with taking the knee down. We're gonna breathe for a breath here in lizard and then take the arms all the way down to the forearms if you can, and if not, hopefully you have blocks nearby, but I'm guessing you don't. So you're welcome to stay on your hands. Breathe, stretch out the hip, take another full breath in and a full breath out. If you are on your forearms, nice and slow, come back up to your hands. Walk the right foot back into the center. If you're on the knee, come off, rise back up into crescent. Take a full breath in and a full breath out and then swivel the back foot down and open up into warrior two. Oh yeah, I miss being in the studio. A little bit more space. A little bit more peace and quiet. Drop your shoulders. Take a nice deep breath in, bend a little deeper into that right knee. Flip the right hand, big breath in, come up strong, fingertips go high. And now exhale, breathe and move. Cartwheel the hands down, frame the foot, step the right foot back to meet the left. Pause in your plank. And now you have your choices to move and breathe the way you need to. So you can rinse this off with a vinyasa flow, lowering down, inhaling for cobra or up dog. Let the energy take you where it needs to take you. Or if your body's still not ready, maybe you just go right back to down dog, or you skip everything and go to child's pose. Stay with me. Stay with your breath. And when you get back into your down dog, take a nice full inhale again and open your mouth. Let it all go. Take a nice deep breath in and a closed mouth exhale. 
Big breath in as you come up to your toes and on your exhale, glide back into plank. Stay strong through that middle section again. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. Okay, so you're calm now with what you wanna bring. Lift the left toes. With your exhale, bring the knee outside the left elbow. Take a full breath in, keep lifting through the hips, and then with your exhale, push the foot up high, take the hips with it, downward facing dog on three legs. Well, three limbs. Big breath in, come forward, bring the left knee outside the right elbow. Keep lifting, exhale, push it back, three-legged dog. Bring it forward, bring the foot right up by your thumb. You can use your hands to get the foot up there, so keep your legs in two separate lanes, and then with a full breath in, you rise high for crescent on this side. And again, the right knee can be up or down. Your hands can be reaching toward the sky. You can draw the elbows down. You can bring your hands to your heart space. You can also play around with this with each breath that you have and see what works. Keep coming back into that nice strong breath wherever you are. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. Bend a little deeper into that left knee. Press that right thigh bone back. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. Inhale, reach a little bit higher. When you exhale, bring the hands down on the inside of the foot. Walk the left foot over to the edge, giving yourself some space to open up that hip. And again, you can stay up on the right toes or take the knee down. If you can get your forearms onto the mat, that's great, but you don't have to. All I want you to do is breathe. Focus a little bit more on the deep inhales and the deep exhales. And this side may not be the same as the other because you know as well as I do, the rights and lefts are different. Take another full breath in and a full breath out. If you're on your forearms, come back up to your hands and then move that foot back in the center. Big breath in, rising high. Come back to your crescent. Let the breath open you up into warrior two. Swivel the back foot down. Readjust your feet. Feel a length come up from the hips, right through the crown of the head. Extending your arms. Let your shoulders come down. Beautiful. Take a nice deep breath in and a deep breath out. Flip that left hand, stretch it up, reach it back. Exhale, cartwheel the hands down, frame the foot, breathe and move. To your own rhythm, to what you need. Again, I'll give you all the cues in the world. And you can take what works for you and leave the rest. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. Inhale the right leg straight out behind you. Exhale, bring the foot forward, plant it by your thumb. Take a full breath in, rising up to crescent. Immediately open up into warrior two. Just follow the exhale right around. Push out on the outside edge of that left foot, staying deeply bent in the right knee. Flipping the right hand, reach it up, breathe strong. Pause and breathe, and we're going to exhale into side angle. So bring the elbow down, keep the left fingertips high. We're just breathing and moving this morning. Full breath in as you come back to warrior two. Flip the hand, stretch it up, reach it back. Exhale, cartwheel the hand down, frame the foot. Come to the left toes and pause. Take a full breath in and a full breath out, and then either jump switch your feet or walk the feet into the opposite direction. Once you're set, inhale, rise high for crescent here. Give yourself, your body, an opportunity to come into the balance of the pose, and then swivel the back foot down and open up into warrior two. Adjusting your feet, pushing out on the outside edge of that right foot. Open up the left hand, big breath in, reach up, stay strong and tall. Exhaling, slowly come into side angle. Elbow rests lightly on the knee, right hand goes high. Take a nice deep breath in, a deep breath out. With your breath and using your core, come back into your warrior two. Flip the left hand, reach up, exhale, cartwheel the hands down, frame the foot, come to the right toes and pause. Bring the right foot forward to meet the left. Inhale, halfway lift. Really draw the crown of your head forward. Exhale, hinge at the hips, forward fold. Rise high to stand. Bring your hands to your heart space and pause. Let your shoulders relax. Maybe you 
moves them up and down, forward and back. Pause and breathe in your Tadasana. Take a full breath in as you reach up. Exhale, forward fold right over your legs. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Pause, bend your knees. Sit your hips back. Come on into chair. Another perfect pose to draw everything into the center line. Feel yourself hug internally. Let your hips go down a little bit lower. Keep the weight in your heels, but press one hand into the other if your hands are your heart space to really open up, drawing the shoulders back. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. Sit your hips a little bit lower, lay it out right over your legs. We're gonna twist to the right. So take your left elbow outside your right knee. Pause and breathe. And see if you can extend more through the spine to twist open more toward the right. You can use your hands as leverage. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. Forward fold right over your legs. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Rise back up again to stand and bring your hands right back to your heart space. It's a nice little rinse, right? You give yourself a moment to settle into your feet a little bit more. Draw the shoulders back. Feel that breath move through you all the way. With your next breath, inhale, reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold, pause, and again from here, bending your knees, come back to chair. So you sweep those arms up, and whether they stay extended, you bring them right back to your heart space. I'm giving you lots of cues. Practice with yourself to see what works and what doesn't. Keep open across the heart. Take another full breath in, a full breath out. Lay out right over your legs, get nice and small. Find that length in your tailbone right at the crown of your head and then twist to the left. The right elbow will go outside the right knee. Use that leverage. Draw the right knee back in line. So take a peek down if your knees are poking out one over the other. Draw them back in the same line. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. And again, you're breathing in for length of the spine so you can twist and rotate. Exhale forward, fold over your legs. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands, walk back out to plank. Pause in your plank, stay high on your toes, and then you choose. Rinse it off, lower down. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. Inhaling nice and strong, bring your, come on up to your toes, look forward, walk, step, or jump your feet right between your hands. Take a full breath in for that halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Rise to stand, big and tall. Bring your hands to your heart space and pause. With your breath, inhale the right knee up in front of you, flex your foot again, drawing everything into center. Pull in through the low belly. You'll find a little bit of length, draw your shoulders back. Crossing the ankle over your knee, just like you did when you were on your back when you started. You can stay right here. You can start to bend that left knee, taking the hips back, but take the heart forward. Still feeling everything pull right into the center of your body. And again, foot stays flexed, and you can stay right here. If you can bend that left leg a little bit more and you want to start to reach for the ground, you can do that. Give yourself some space and some time to work your way into a pose. You may go no further than this and that's fine. If your hands are on the ground and they're a little further out in front of you, you can hook those right toes around the left tricep. Start to lean. Keep breathing. You don't have to go any further than this or if you want to try to lift the foot up, that's awesome. Your call. I'm just giving you options. You decide what you need here. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. Nice and slow, feet back on the mat. You're gonna straighten the legs as the feet meet, rise all the way up nice and tall. Stretch, take a little bit of a back bend here. And then bring the hands right back to your heart space and pause. 
Take a full breath in and a full breath out. We'll find the pose on the other side. Inhaling, draw the left knee up in front of you. Pull it in nice and tight. Foot stays flexed and you can stay right here. Cross the ankle over the right knee. Keeping the foot flex, really point the knee open. Stay right here. Bend your hips. Well, I guess we're not really bending our hips, are we down there? Bend the right leg, take the hips back. But as you take the hips back, really press the heart forward into your thumbs. Stay long through the low belly. And you may fall out on this side, because again, rights and lefts aren't the same, so breathe. And decide if you stay here, or if the hands start to make their way to the earth. I'll give you plenty of breath here to work through what you need. My only request is that you're nice to yourself and you're patient. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. You can always take a sip of coffee. One more breath in, one more breath out. You'll return your feet to the mat. Start to straighten up your legs. Take another big breath in, lifting up nice and high. Exhale, forward fold. Take your hands right back down to the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. And then walk yourself back out so you're back in downward facing dog. Take your hands forward, take your feet back. Breathe, pedal out your feet. Come back home. And with your next breath, inhale the right leg straight up behind you. Exhale, bring the foot forward, plant it by your thumb. Full breath in, rise up strong. Come into crescent. Take your left hand forward and your right arm back. Open up the left hand, nice slow lift up. Letting the right hand find the left thigh. And then on your exhale, take the left hand all the way down. Sweep the right hand up, stay twisted. Opening up across the heart. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. We're gonna come into side plank. So either take the left knee down to modify that or roll to the outside of the foot. Take that right leg out strong and long to meet it. And then you breathe here and decide, do you keep the pose static or maybe you bring a little movement in? So you can lift that top leg. You could take the right hand forward, palm down. Breathe, keep drawing that right shoulder back, staying open, take a full breath in, and then exhale the hand down, toes meet, lift the hips up, downward facing dog. Take a full breath in, open your mouth, slide all up. Beautiful. Inhale the left leg straight up behind you. Exhale, bring the foot forward, come on into your crescent on this side, slow and steady. Strong and tall. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. Reach the right arm forward and the left arm back. Pause for balance and then flip the right hand nice and slow, reach up. Left hand finds the right thigh. Breathe. And then with your next exhale, bring the hand down. Take the left hand high. Staying open, taking your time. You're giving yourself moments and opportunities to do maybe something that you're not used to, or maybe it's old hat. So you decide, right knee comes down or not, roll to the outside of the right foot for full plank. Take the left leg out long and strong, staying open. And then either hold the pose or open it up Bringing some movement in, left hand can go forward, palm down. Take a full breath in, full breath out. And then the hands come down, the hips go high, let the toes meet. So if you haven't taken a child's pose yet and you want one, take it. Toes together, knees wide, let your hips come back over your heels. Or you can just sit and pause. When you're given the opportunity to sit and pause, and you take it, can you stay with the breath, or does your head take you someplace else? Maybe that's a question for a later date when we can actually have a conversation. 
But right now, I'd like to encourage you to just keep coming back to your breath. Keep it full and robust. Really feel it move through your body. And when you feel you've reconnected with that breath, you take yourself right back into downward facing dog. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. Inhale, high up to your toes. Exhale, look forward, walk, step, or jump your feet right between your hands. Take a full breath in for that halfway lift. Really draw the hips back, but the crown of the head goes forward. Exhale, release. Inhaling, rise high. Come on up to stand. Sit your hips back for chair. Stay here in your chair for several breaths. So you decide if the arms stay extended or come to your heart. You could close your eyes. You could come up to your toes. If you come up to your toes, keep drawing your ankles in toward each other. Find the alignment and the support you need to stay strong here. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. One more breath in. One more breath out. Forward fold right over your legs. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Keep your hands down. Take your left foot to the back of the mat. Feet in two separate lanes. Full inhale as you rise back into your crescent, strong and tall. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. Open up into warrior two. Swivel the back foot down. Readjust your feet. Stay deeply bent in the right knee. And then straighten the leg. Feel the lift come right out through the crown of your head. Flip the right hand, sweep it up. And then exhale into triangle. So reach that right hand forward. Left hip shifts back just a little bit. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. You want to take the left hand forward and bring the right hand out to meet it. We're just going to come back into warrior two. So take a nice deep breath in. Flip the right hand, stretch it up. Exhale, cartwheel the hands down, frame the foot, come to the left toes and pause. Jump switch or walk your feet into the opposite position. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. Now rise to crescent, inhaling up strong. Steady, follow the breath. And then when you're ready, we'll open that up into warrior two. Take your time. Breathe and extend, open up, and then straighten the left leg, feeling that lift. And then we're gonna reach up and exhale into triangle. Take a full breath in, a full breath out. And again, if you wanna take your arms forward, right hand comes down, left hand meets it. Rebend the knee, come back into your warrior two. Flip the left hand, stretch it up, reach it back. And then cartwheel the hands down, frame the left foot, come to the right toes and pause. Bring the right foot forward to meet the left. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Rise to stand. Sweep it off, rinse it off. Exhale, forward fold. Take your feet back out to plank. Stay high on your toes. Knees can stay up or they can go down. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. And then you decide, lower, rinse it all off. We'll go back to down dog when you're ready. With your breath, sweep the right foot out behind you. This time when you bring it forward, bring it to the outside of your right hand. So start to walk that right hand over. You can stay high on the left toes or bring the knee down. We're coming back into uh, lizard. So take your time. Maybe there's a little bit more elasticity. You can come down to your forearms or not. It's your choice. Listen to your body. 
But keep feeling like the crown of the head and the heart are going forward, so don't round and cave. Breathe in some strength. Pausing, opening up that hip. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. This time when you breathe back up to your hands, you're gonna take that right foot and walk it all the way across the mat so that the ankle's behind the left hand and gently drop the right knee down behind the right wrist. Keep the foot flex to protect your knee. Extend the left leg long and place the top of the foot straight on the mat. Take a nice deep breath in and then exhale, lower yourself down. Keep your forearms parallel or bring your hands together so you can put your forehead on your hands. Draw your shoulders back. Feel a nice long line, even in this twisted pose from your tail right up the crown of your head. So try not to just let your head hang. Support it with your hands if you don't have a block. Or if you're flexible enough to make it all the way to the ground, that's awesome. But you still need to breathe here. And you need to give yourself the necessary moments to allow your hips to open up. Keep pausing and breathing. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. Thanks for all your comments. As I mentioned before, I'm blind without my glasses, so I'll read them later. One more breath in your half pigeon, one more breath out. And then inhale up to your hands, tuck the left toes. You'll work your way out of this pose back into a three-legged down dog. And from that three-legged down dog, you could bend the knee, open up the hips, you could flip your dog. You could stay put in down dog with both feet on the ground. Again, all I'm doing is giving you cues and options. Nothing is promised. It's all individual. What do you need this morning? Stretch, rinse it off, and then pausing in your down dog, take another full breath in and a full breath out. You know what these pauses are for, right? It's because I forgot where we gotta go next. <laughs> Take a nice deep breath in and a deep breath out. Come on to your toes. On your exhale, walk, step, or jump your feet right between your hands. Take a big inhale for that halfway lift and exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise up strong and tall. Exhale, forward fold. Keep your hands down. Take your right foot to the back edge of the mat. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. Yeah, we're coming into this backward. Walk the left foot all the way over to the edge. Bring the hands on the inside of the foot and then gently take the knee down if you want. You can open up that left knee by rolling to the outside of the left foot. And again, we'll take several breaths here in Lizard whether you make it to your forearms or not. Doesn't mean a thing. It's all about the hip. All I want you to do is really breathe through the body, drawing the crown of the head forward. Take one more breath in and one more breath out. As you work your way out of this pose, we're going to come into pigeon on the other side. So walk that left foot over, gently place the knee down behind the left wrist. Stay squarely on the top of the right foot. So try not to let that foot sickle one way or the other. And then with breath, start to lower yourself down over that bent leg. Full breath in and a full breath out. Feel the length, even though you're forward like this, from the tailbone through the spine out the crown of the head. Breathe in 
Again, drawing everything into the center. Just because you hold a pose and you pause into something doesn't mean you don't give it your full undivided attention. It's really hard sometimes. Or maybe the pose is so uncomfortable, you have no choice because you just want to get out of it. Take one more breath in and one more breath out. Big breath in, start to inhale, lift the torso, come back up to your hands, tuck the toes on the right foot, work your way back out into that three-legged down dog, and then you go from there, you bend at the knee, open up the hips, maybe flip your dog. Lots of options, or just stay right in downward facing dog, nice and still. Focused on your breath. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. Okay, let's breathe and move a little bit. Inhale, the right leg straight up behind you. Exhale, bring the foot forward, place it by your thumb. Use your hands if necessary. Inhaling, rise high for crescent. Pause to get your balance and then swivel the back foot down, opening up into warrior two. Pause and breathe in your warrior two. Bend a little deeper into that right knee and then flip the right hand, stretch it up, reach it back. Straighten the leg, reaching the right hand back even more. And then bring yourself upright, shift the left hip back, reach forward, draw the left thigh back, don't let it pop forward. Let the hand come down for triangle and the left hand go high, take a full breath in and a full breath out. And from here, if you wanna stay for a few breaths, that's amazing. And if you wanna push up into half moon, really use your core to find that lift, bending into the right leg and then straightening it. Taking the left foot high, keep the foot flexed, point the toes. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. Rebend the knee, come back into your warrior two. Flip the right hand, stretch it up, reach it back. And then cartwheel the hands down and pause. Come to the toes and either jump, switch, or walk your feet into the other position. I'm just gonna keep it moving here to finish out this side. So with a big breath in, rise high for crescent. Take a full breath in and a full breath out, and then swivel the foot down when you're ready to find warrior two here. Opening up the arms, letting the shoulders release, but feeling a lift right through the crown of the head. Lift the left hand, open the left hand, stretch it up. Straighten the left leg, get a little longer, and then breathe in your way into triangle, really shift and tip. Pausing and breathing, draw that right thigh bone back. Open up, stay here for two or three breaths, or look down at that left foot, bend into the knee, and then using your core, find that inner strength to lift up. Point the right toes, flexing that foot, being nice to yourself if you fall out of this side and it's annoying, it's not annoying, it's just practice in your breathing. And then re-bend the left leg, come on back into your warrior two. Let the shoulders release, open up the left hand, inhale, sweep it up. Exhale, cartwheel the hand down. Step the left foot back to meet the right. Keep moving, keep breathing, keep flowing. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. Beautiful, nice, strong breath this morning, get you moving, maybe soften your face. Release your jaw. Pause in your down dog so you can just be with your breath, but just let that really internally ground you. Sweep the right foot out long behind you, really push through the heel, bend at the knee, stacking the hips again, maybe opening up, flipping your dog, your choice. And then push the heel out long behind you, drive that heel to the back wall. Exhale, bring the foot forward, plant it by your thumb. Take a full breath in as you lift up strong. Crescent. Hands either extended by your ears or your hands at your heart. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. Start to hinge out over your, left, uh, your right leg. Get nice and long, stay high on the left toes. 
And then feel that internal lift as you start to straighten the right leg coming into warrior three. You can keep your hands at your heart. You can keep them extended in front of you. You can move nice and slow and just see where you can take it. Maybe the hands come by your side. Keep the toes pointed down, hips stay square. Take another breath in and another breath out. Rebend the right knee, take the foot out long behind you. Rise high again for crescent. Take a full breath in, just enough to stretch out and then exhale the hands down. Jump switch or walk your feet into the other position. Rise high for crescent, lifting up again. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. If your hands are extended, draw them to your heart and hinge out over the left thigh. Get nice and long, stay high on the right toes. And then that internal lift again, coming right up to the center of your body. Straighten the left leg, right toes, stay pointed down. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. You can play with your arms or keep them where they are and then start to rebend the left knee. Take the right foot out long behind you. Full breath in, rising high, stretching out, reaching up. Exhaling, bring the hands down. Frame that left foot, step it back to meet your right. Last, lowering down. And then we'll meet back in downward facing dog. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. Inhale up to your toes. On your exhale, walk your feet right through your hands. Come to sit down. Bring your feet in close to you. Soles of the feet meet, knees open. And again, work at lifting up, not rounding. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. Your elbows can stay leaning against the knees, but you don't have to put any extra pressure on them. Take a full breath in, getting tall, and then exhale, hinge forward. Feel like the crown of your head is going to the front of the room instead of just collapsing over your feet. Take a nice deep breath in, and a deep breath out. Continuing to stretch out those hips. One more breath in. One more breath out. Start to sit up. Bring your hands to the outsides of your knees. Close them up like a book. Take your legs out long in front of you. Give them a little bit of a wiggle. Point your toes, flex your feet. And then let them go right to left like windshield wipers, turning the entire leg bone into the hip socket. Pause. Bend the knees. Bring the soles of the feet flat on the mat. You can keep your hands down. We're coming into boat. You can keep your hands by your sides. And again, lifting through the heart. Draw the shoulders back. Flex the feet. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. You can start to lower your boat. Inhale, bring it back up. Lower your boat. Inhale, bring it up. Keep your feet flat, push to the heels, lower, up, two more. Beautiful, use the breath. Plant the feet, pause. Nestle yourself right in, give yourself a hug forward. And then bring your hands behind you, turn your fingers towards your bottom, lift your hips up. Take a full breath in. Exhale, your hips back down. Beautiful. Take your legs out long in front of you. Bring your arms out, sit tall, and then start to tuck your tail. Keep pushing through the heels, flexing your feet. Lower all the way down. Nice and slow. Consider this a rinse off. And when you finally make it to the mat, take your arms up overhead, take another full body stretch. Big breath in, big breath out. Bring your hands down by your sides. Bend your knees. Bring the soles of your feet to the mat. Draw them in just a little bit more than you normally would. We're going to take a couple of bridges here. So pushing down through your feet, using your quads, lift your hips up. 
Soften the glutes. You can walk your arm bones in underneath you, maybe interlace your hands beneath your low back. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. Pause and breathe. And then when you're ready, lift your arms up overhead, come to your toes nice and slow, lower yourself down to the mat one vertebrae at a time. And for your second bridge, you can just come right back into what we just did. Or if you want to come up into wheel, those of you that do wheel, turn your hands around so your fingers point towards your shoulders, draw the elbows in with a nice deep breath in, push yourself up. It's just a way to stretch out and rinse off. Certainly wheel will never be a requirement in any yoga practice. Nothing is a requirement, just giving you options. Take a nice deep breath in and a deep breath out. And then when you get back onto your mat, let yourself go for just a few moments with your eyes closed, whether your arms are by your sides or maybe you want to take another body stretch. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. And then to come into Shavasana this morning, you can stay extended in traditional relaxation pose with your right heel to the right corner of your mat and your left heel to the left corner and your arms by your sides, palms open. Or if you wanna put some pillows underneath your knees just to bend them or actually take your legs up right over the couch cushion for your own personal Stonehenge Shavasana, you do what you need. And then you're going to settle in, taking a nice full breath and a slow sigh out. And I'm sure you know this, but to me, Shavasana is one of the most important poses of your practice. So I'm going to be quiet for the next five minutes. It's really not long enough for a Shavasana, but we may do with what we've got. And I'm going to ring the bells when it's time to come out. So close your eyes. Take another full breath in. And as you exhale, allow yourself to go into your Shavasana.
Start to deepen your breath. Taking a full inhale and a slow exhale. There is meditation now after this flow. This morning I'd like to do a body scan so you can stay right where you are. Eyes closed, taking a full breath in. Allow your body to stay connected to the mat, to the earth. If you had your legs propped on pillows or over a couch, please let yourself be flat on the ground. And then taking a full breath in, breathe that breath right down into your toes. Bringing a little movement to each of the toes. And then exhaling that back out. Pause. And breathe. And then taking another full inhale, breathe into the tops of your feet. Let that breath cycle right around the entire foot. And as you exhale, maybe you feel the heels ground a little bit more. Take another full breath in. And a slow breath out. Anchoring back into where the breath goes as we breathe into each part of the body. So now inhale deeply, letting that breath go into your ankles. Taking a slow exhale out, maybe the feet move ever so slightly. And then inhaling again. Stay grounded through the feet. Exhaling completely. With your next breath, breathe into your calves. Let that breath come right around into the shin bones. With each exhale, let the body just be heavy. Let gravity settle in. Take another full inhale. And a long, slow exhale. Next breath, breathe into your knees. Soften the backs of them. Feel the breath come right around to the kneecaps. Let the breath just hover there. Taking slow inhales and slow exhales. With each inhale and each exhale, maybe you notice a temperature change, or maybe you notice a shift in gravity. Just notice it, and then let the exhales empty you out. As you prepare for the next inhale, Breathe into the quads. Slow breath out. Take your time as you breathe into the hamstrings. Take a slow breath out. Maybe there's some tingling that you're paying 
attention to. With your next breath, breathe into the entire left leg. Maybe the breath works its way right into each toe. You give them a wiggle. Exhale, just release that and let the whole left leg be. With your next inhale, breathe into the entire right leg. Let the breath go down the leg, into the foot, into each toe. And again, maybe there's a little bit of movement. Maybe it stays completely still. Full breath in and a full breath out. With your next breath, breathe into your hips. Feel them ground. Relax your glutes. That's your anchor, your hips. Take a full breath in and a slow breath out. Your next inhale, fill up through the belly. <clears throat> Let it be like a balloon, inhaling, expanding, pausing. And then as you let that air out, feel the stomach deflate. Draw the navel in closer to your spine. And then just come back to a normal inhale. And a slow exhale. And as you breathe in again, and you might feel that middle section of your body inflate, pay attention to the side bodies. We'll start with the left. Slow breath out. Breathing into the right side. Feel like you can pay attention to how the ribs are floating with the breath. Exhale it out. Breathing up into the chest, take a full breath in, let the heart lift, feel the lungs expand. Maybe you feel the shoulders come off the mat, just a touch. But then when you exhale, let those shoulders reconnect, let gravity come in, expend all the air out of your lungs. And we'll take several breaths here because there's a lot to feel. Lot to notice. Just let your breath go through your body. And from here, we're going to breathe into the left fingers. Maybe you give them a wiggle make a small fist, not clenching, but just a little bit of movement. And then with your exhale, release those fingers. Feel the back of your hand on the floor. And we'll breathe in and up through the arm. Let the breath settle into the elbow. your next breath, focus on your bicep and your tricep and just that upper arm as it connects into your shoulder. With your inhale, feel the breath move across your collarbones. 
go right down into the right fingers. And again, whether you curl them or just give them a slight wiggle, maybe you feel a temperature difference. There's no right or wrong. You're just breathing and being aware of your hand. Take another full breath in as you move that breath from your wrist into your forearm. Exhaling it all out. And then you breathe into your elbow. You pause. Your next breath again, concentrate on the bicep and the tricep and how the arm bone connects right into the shoulder. And again, you breathe across your collarbones, feeling your chest lift and lower with your exhale. And then when you breathe into your throat here, taking a full inhale, feel the sides of your neck. Maybe they flutter with vibration and then settle on your exhale. Take another full breath in, focusing on your face. Releasing your teeth from top to bottom so your jaw can just float. Soften your cheeks. Breathing in through your nose, you soften your eyes. Feel that breath go right by your ears, and settle into the back of your head. The slow exhale out. Take one more breath and feel it go out the crown of your head. Maybe you've been feeling you've got a little bit of length laying here on your mat. And take a slow breath out. Take a full inhale, feel it go from the crown of your head right through your toes, fill up Breathing into the entire body. Taking a very slow exhale. And I'll be silent for the next minute. And you'll cycle through your inhales and your exhales. And I will ring the bells to close this practice. Deepen your breath, fill up, and slowly release. You can stay right where you are, placing one hand on your heart, one hand on your belly. Thank you for letting me fill in this morning for your 8 o'clock Sunday morning flow and meditation.
the light and truth in me sees that in each of you. Grateful for your presence, Dominic. Grateful to be in this studio. Grateful for all of you. Thank you for staying with us through all this crazy stuff that we're experiencing. Together we're a community, whether we're in this studio or not. And we love all of you very much. Have a beautiful Sunday. Together we say. <laughs>